So when, when somebody says, I don't trust law enforcement, it's not for me to say, you need to trust law enforcement. It's for me to say, I wanna listen to your pain. Tell me about your experiences. It's not for me to be defensive about it. It's for me to say, please enlighten me, tell me, because I want the same respect in return. I want you to listen to my pain as a law enforcement officer too. I want law enforcement to listen to my pain as a black person, as a black man, as a black man who as an FBI agent was arrested in Newport for fitting the description of somebody. There's pain that everybody feels. So if we listen to that pain, now we're strengthening the bond, we're connecting in ways that we hadn't connected before, and trust is being is brewing, it's being built. So the person who says, you know, I don't trust police, and we say, well, that's those are just bad apples. You shouldn't. No, that's not the answer. The answer is, tell me about that. Tell me about that because I want to understand why. I want to. I want to really get to the reason, so I can understand who you are, put myself in your shoes, and. You know, when somebody really hears you, when they're listening to you, you gain trust for them when it's genuine. And that's where we need to be. So I want to hear the pain. Oftentimes we're in these sessions with law enforcement and community because we put them together. We don't do them independently. We put them together. And there's pain being expressed by all parties about what's going on. And we have to, at times, stop the other party from interrupting with defensiveness because we want everybody to listen to the pain. Listen to the pain, that pain will connect us ultimately.